In this video, I'm gonna talk you through how to create a look where basically you apply your makeup underneath your foundation. So we're talking highlight, contour, blush, and it's all applied underneath different layers of foundation. Gives it quite an airbrush sort of filtered look and I hope that you guys enjoy it and let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna do is start off with a little bit of skincare. Bear in mind, this is gonna look like it's sponsored by Pixie. It's not, I just love their products at the moment. So this is the Rose Tonic and oh, I love this so much. It makes my skin feel absolutely amazing. Now I do have the retinol one, which I use at night, and then I started using this in the morning. Oh my gosh, my skin feels so good. If you haven't tried it, give it a go. It feels like really refreshing on the skin. Also in that same collection, there's a moisturizer. See what I mean? It does look like it's sponsored. It's not, it's not sponsored. But this smells so good. It feels really hydrating, really moisturizing. It's kind of a thick cream, kind of a thick moisturizer, but you know what? It doesn't feel heavy, so I really like it. Then we also have the Flash Bomb. Now the Flash Bomb is like a primer. What you don't wanna do is rub this into the skin. You have to sort of like press it in, if that makes sense. And this kind of creates a great base for your makeup. Or if you wanna just not wear any makeup, it also works great too. And then as my final step, I will be using the Illuminating Primer by Flormar because I use it in like every video. It's my favorite. It controls oils, but also gives an illuminating glow. Right, all that's out of the way, let's move on to the makeup. So we're actually gonna start off with two different shades of concealer, so a light and a dark. And you wanna go quite dark as well, that's a very important bit. And we're also gonna be using a sponge. So we're gonna start off, first of all, by just applying the lighter shade of concealer to really the areas where we wanna brighten up the skin. We're not looking for like a full layer of concealer, we're just looking for pinpointing certain areas of the skin. And once you've done that, you can then go in with your sponge and like pat it in and really press it in there. But then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit more after we apply the first layer and just really pinpoint certain areas because I wanna make sure that the skin looks like it's glowing from within so the evenness is coming from the base. That's why we're applying this first. And often you see makeup tutorials where we're showing you guys how to apply something and then we blend it and then it's the next step. When in reality, you probably do need to go back in and add a little bit here and there and that's basically what I'm doing here. Pinpointing certain areas that I want to brighten. Then we're going to take the other shade, which is the darker shade, and this is quite dark, and I actually think I could have even gone a little bit darker, to be honest. And because we're going to be applying this with foundation over the top, we just want to go a little bit darker so it really shows up. But this will create that kind of bronzy look from within. And you can see that I'm actually tilting my head from side to side, and this is just so I can find the natural shadow and the shape of my face. You kind of have to make sure that you're working with your own natural contour rather than just creating lines on the face. And then I'm gonna take an F41. So this is a bit unusual to be taking this type of brush for this, but it does make a massive difference. It's a very light sort of feathery type of foundation brush. Absolutely love it. You'll see it a lot through this entire video. It's one of my favorites because it creates an airbrush soft finish. It's very delicate in a way. So it's a very delicate finish, but it really blends everything beautifully. Don't worry if it looks a little messy because next we're gonna take our foundation. So this is a lightweight medium coverage foundation. You really wanna make sure you're only using a very small amount. I pumped a little bit on the back of my hand and a little goes a long way because this is only our first step in the foundation routine. So this is gonna go over everything we've already applied and you might be like, Sinead, that was pointless. No, I promise you, it really glows from within. It's very subtle and understated. That's what this entire look is about. as you can see, I'm using the mixture of the F41 and also the sponge to apply this. With each step, I want you to take that sponge and just make sure you're really pressing the product in to give you that perfect finish. Next, we're gonna take a cream blush. I'm gonna use two different shades here and just mix them up because I couldn't decide which one to use. And we're using an F41 again. This is the smaller sort of travel size one. I actually didn't realize this was also an F41 until I started using it, but it feels so amazing on the skin. It's like literally like feather touch. It's perfect for applying cream blushes because it won't disturb the makeup underneath because it's so sheer and light on the skin, but it applies the product beautifully. Next, we're gonna take a liquid highlighter and we're basically applying this with that same brush again. And just apply this wherever you want to. We want to give it that really subtle hint of like glow from within. So that's what this is all about. Just make sure that you're using the right type of highlighter for your skin type. So like this one is sort of like a neutral, kind of slightly pink one. So it's going to work really nicely with that blush that we applied. 
We're then going to take another type of foundation. So this is a powder foundation. What this is basically going to do is it's going to seal everything in place for us that we've already applied. If you haven't tried this foundation, you need to. What are you doing with your life? I love it so much and I highly recommend it. So we're going to be using that same brush that we were using before, the F41. I did clean it. It's clean though because I don't like to use like liquids and then powders if I can avoid it. So I did actually give this a clean and I just started to apply that powder over the skin. And you're basically using a pressing motion. I don't want you to see any buffing here. Do not buff. We have layers underneath that we do not need to be disturbed. We have to keep it nice and lightweight. Then take your sponge again, use this to get rid of any creases before you apply the powder there because if you apply powder over creases, you set the creases and they're gonna look terrible. Your skin should feel really nice at this point. It should feel like you kind of have nothing on but you know that you do, and it actually improves as the day goes on. Now I'm gonna be taking a powdered bronzer and applying this over everything we've already applied, mostly because I love this shade. It's got a nice subtle hint of warmth to it, but it's not over the top. I'm using the F41 that we applied the foundation with. And you can see I'm tilting my head, and this is just to catch the natural contour of the face. I'm also gonna bake, because I do find with this particular look, you kinda of need to bake with it, because all the products are underneath the foundation, sometimes that can mean that it goes a little bit oily as those kind of things come to the surface. So I do find you have to kind of pinpoint certain areas like around the nose or the jawline, anywhere where you have excess shine. And while that's on there, let's just do the eyes real quick. I'm doing a really subtle look. This is the alluring nude. Is that what I'm saying? We're gonna start off with a lighter shade first of all, and just apply this all over the lid. This is really just a quick look. I just want to define the eyes ever so slightly. And then I'm going to take the next shade, which is sort of a warmer shade, just on a blending brush and work that back and forth in the crease of the eye. Super quick and simple, just adding some dimension. And you can also take a little bit of the darker shade then and just sort of add a little bit more of that. And to brighten up the eyes, because I feel like a bright eye would look perfect with this particular type of skin, you want to use a cream liner pencil and just apply this on the waterline. I can't do it on camera because I have to look down and mirror. And then just to add a little bit more definition, I went in with a brown liner. So what this space is going to do is just be applied right by the lashes to add some definition to those eyes, really help them pop a little bit. You could use black if you wanted to, but honestly, I feel like brown is just a lot softer. Then a lot of mascara. You need a lot of mascara and even false lashes with this particular look because you really want to make sure that the eyes are popping. At least that's how I feel. So I did apply some falsies too. And as always, I apply my falsies underneath because I'm crazy. And a little trick to make sure that your lashes look really kind of natural is to apply a very small amount of mascara on them. I know, breaks the rules. And then take a clean spoolie and very softly sort of kind of mess up your lashes, if that makes sense, just to give them more of a real feel so they don't look like you have just lashes on, if you know what I mean. Then you wanna brush off your baking powder, and then I'm gonna do the brows. So lately I've been doing my brows last because I find if I do them at any other point, they just never turn out right. So I'm gonna take a liner. So this liner is basically for the eyes, but I'm gonna use it to create tiny little hairs right next to the ones that I already have. You do need to set this then in place with a waterproof gel. This ain't gonna stay on there. It's not designed for the brows, but it does really work for adding some definition without going overboard. And then on the lips, I went for like a velvety lip, which, hey, make sure you apply lipsticks with lip brushes because I never used to do it, but it makes such a difference. It like totally transforms the way that you apply. And there you go really kind of subtle airbrush sort of filtered effect. It looks great as the day goes on, I find, but if you do have oily skin, you might want to make sure you have powder handy. But there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.